Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning about the particle theory of matter. There are three kinds of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. What are the properties of solids? Solids have a fixed volume, they have high density, they have a definite shape, and they do not flow. Next comes liquids. They have a fixed volume too. They have moderate to high density, and they do not have a definite shape, which means that they can take the shape of the container you put them in. And liquids can flow easily. Gases, they do not have a fixed volume. They expand to fill the container. They have very low density, they do not have a definite shape either and take the shape of the container. They too can flow easily. Next up, we'll be looking at the arrangement of particles in solids, liquids, and gases. In solids, the particles have very strong intermolecular forces of attraction between them. So, they are very closely packed together. Solid particles are fixed in their own spots and do not move around. They only vibrate in their own positions. Liquids have lesser intermolecular forces of attraction than solids. The particles are closely packed and all particles touch each other. But in liquids, the particles can flow over and around each other. In gases, the particles are very far apart from each other. They are irregularly arranged and are free to move around. Changing the temperature and pressure can change the state of matter. Now we'll be looking at the changes of state. First up, melting. If we provide heat to solids, particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate vigorously. The particles occupy more space. This causes the solid to expand. Eventually, the particles have enough energy to break the forces holding the lattice together and they move around. The solid melts at its melting point. On heating the particles in a liquid, they move faster and the liquid expands. In a liquid, some particles have enough energy to escape from the surface. Evaporation takes place. As the temperature rises, more particles have enough energy to escape. Evaporation is faster at a higher temperature. At boiling point, the particles have enough energy to break the forces attracting them together. The particles move very fast and separate from each other. The liquid boils at its boiling point. Remember that evaporation can occur at any temperature, but boiling can only occur at a fixed boiling point of the liquid. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Now we'll be looking at freezing. If you take away heat, from a liquid, the particles will lose their energy. The intermolecular forces will become stronger and the particles will contract. They'll come closer together and the particle will freeze at its freezing point and turn into a solid. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. It is also the melting point of water. Condensation. If we take away heat from gases, the particles will lose kinetic energy and come closer together as in liquids. The gas will have been condensed into a liquid. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video.